At present, all of Tenon's documentation uh, is available here under Docs, and the documentation that we have is solely oriented oriented around the API itself. Uh, and so as soon as you get here, you're, you're presented with a, a, a bunch of documentation. I'm going to go through each of these and sort of talk about them at a high level. Uh, the quick start is, as the name implies, uh, the, um, the very, very quick start on using the API. It talks about the steps necessary to register and grab your API key. And then it presents you with a series of uh, example requests. So, for instance, you can use this one within terminal, uh, within your Mac terminal or other command line environment uh, to submit the request with curl. We have a PHP and curl example, Python 2, Python 3, Node.js, um, and, and so on. There, uh, then we provide links to some of the additional, uh, some of the additional bits and pieces. So these are really quick, meant to just get you up and running uh, on the on the API. And then we go through uh, a little bit more detail as we get through these documentation. So the overview itself is uh, is a little bit more detailed textual information, um, how to submit a request, where to submit them, and some other uh, high level things. This talks about the required and optional parameters for the API. So, for instance, your required parameters are going to be your API key, of course, and either your URL or, or the source. Um, and then all of our optional parameters are listed here and detailed with information about what is, you know, what's required, what the valid formats are, and, and, and things like that. Under API response, we talk about the specific keys and format of the API response, uh, providing an example here of, the, uh, of that response. Then over at response codes, we talk about the specific response codes and response messages that Tenon will give you for success and for failure and fully document those. Issue reports uh, contains a detailed description of all the different bits and pieces of uh, the uh, each issue that's in the result set. What Tenon tests gives you a full list of all of the specific tests that Tenon provides, including the number of tests we also transparently disclose those WCAG success criteria that Tenon does not or cannot test for. The change log provides you with a full list of changes that have been made to Tenon. Um, we provide this information again as part of our transparency efforts. Uh, we disclose whether something was an improvement or a bug, where it was made, and what the issue uh, number was and the title. Uh, we provide these issue numbers because sometimes people will contact us. Um, they'll let us know about something, maybe a feature request or a bug. And uh, so we will tell people when we create those issues what they are. And, and then you can come back here and uh, check them out. Accessibility of Tenon uh, provides, uh, this is the home page for the accessibility. We have a list of the currently known accessibility issues and uh, and uh, that, that we're that we're aware of and tracking. We also provide a VPAT and uh, what I call a WCAG PAT, which is uh, a VPAT format that uses WCAG as the success criteria. So the VPAT is uh, stands for, or for those who don't know, the Voluntary Product Accessibility Template and it discloses information about the level of accessibility of the product um, when assessed against the Section 508 standards, and it contains uh, the criteria, supporting statement, and any remarks and information uh, explanations here. Uh, and, and so we have the similar format for the WCAG standards. We talk about that there. Finally, uh, a little bit about privacy and security here at that link. 
and uh, all of the legalese you can handle on our terms of service. So that's the documentation of Tenon. We are well aware of the fact that uh, we need to document the UI and the UI-based features a lot better, but uh, that's what we have for now.